MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. In high definition. The 1966 Coupe Restoration Project. Day 16, bringing her back to life. All right, so we just got a new account set up at Star Auto Parts. And I just want to thank Tom Orgaz, the vice president over there, for helping out Mustang Medic. You know who you are. Props to you guys. Scotty went and moved over to uh, Star and left O'Reilly. So we're going to be dealing with Scotty over there, and uh, Star is going to be bringing stuff to us too. We'll still use O'Reilly, but uh, we're getting great service with Scotty. So we got another account over at Mustang Medic. Bought the uh, gaskets for the 289, and that's probably going to be going on uh, tonight. That's the plan, so we're sticking by it. Here's the gaskets on the Mustang Medic truck. Still waiting for that logo. Maybe it's going to go on tomorrow. We'll see. All right. Mustang Thanks for watching, guys. Medic. MustangMedic.com. All right. Here we are with the 66, and we are opening packages. All day today is going to be opening packages. So here, I believe we have a pretty chrome oil pan for your 289. I know chrome don't get you home. I say that often, but it sure does look pretty. There it is. She looks gorgeous. What do you think, Zalma? Eh? Love it. Look at this. They even give a plastic, a little rubber cap to protect the bolt on the pan. You gotta love that. And here she is. I'm gonna get a gasket for her. I got the gaskets. I'll show you in a second. But, uh, isn't that pretty? Huh? Huh? I love it. Perfect shape. We are good to go with your oil pants, all my. Let's bring the airport. Um, Star. Star Auto Parts. Uh, we have a new account with them. Scotty's over there, as I told you uh, in the beginning of the video. And now we're getting gaskets from them. So this one, I believe, is for the oil pan exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold gaskets. We're gonna clean this up in here before we put it in and I believe this is what is this for oil pan set oil pan set so we've got the setup for your gaskets on the oil pan and that's going to be going on today I'm looking for packages I got to go through the other packages on the on the 71 video and I, I'm not sure if the valve covers have been delivered yet. I'm hoping they have. I'm probably, we're probably most likely, if all goes well, are going to be putting in this uh, engine within the next, probably by Monday. We'll have the engine going in and getting put back in place, Zalma. So there is your gasket setup for your oil pan. We're going to get that all set up and ready to go. And she's going to be pretty, very pretty. All right, so here is the underside of your engine, Zoma. And I cleaned off the gasket really well. And now we're, now we're prepared to put the oil pan back on. Basically, it tacks on the, um, the, the gasket just to hold it in place. And the, the gasket does all the work. So we're about to put on the oil pan now. I'm taking a little bit of sealer and putting a, a little bead along the pan. Can you show Pete that the rear seal and the front seal for the oil pan has been put in place? And what I'm doing now is I am putting gasket on here to just create a good, good, good seal because we don't want any oil leaks with this new pan. We've got the cork gaskets right here. Hey, did you say you're out of shape? Yep, but I'm proud. You're old, man. You're getting old. How old are you now? 
too old. You know, oh, you don't want to see it on video? No. I'm 47. There it is. Boom. There's yeah, reality. You're old, you're old man. Well, actually, you're older than me, so that's. So you're wait. So you're that you're that old. You're that, I know I am older than you. That, so you're that old that you got to hide your age. Not much. Why are you not showing my face right now? What kind of video coverage is this? Jesus. I was actually showing the pan. See, see, Carlos, I'm talking and he's showing the pan. Boring video. He's still showing the pan. Hello. Thank you very much. People actually like to see my face. <laughs> you don't want to give them too much of a good thing. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, thanks, Pete. All right, so I don't know if we're going to be able to use that video clip. If, if Pete shot it good enough, we'll find out. But uh, this gasket's now in place. These little notches are going to fit into those rubber seals. And it's very specific because this oil pan has a little, uh, it cuts over, and it doesn't cut over on the other side. So now we're going to add this one right here and drop it on. And again, a lot of this sealer is kind of, it's just an extra precaution. And it also helps glue the um, gasket in so it's in place when you go to put it on underneath the, you know, underneath the engine. It makes the job easier. Otherwise, the gasket would be slipping all over the place. All right, so now I'm going to, now that that gasket's in place, I'm going to go once again. And now I'm going to put, I put a seal on this side of the gasket. I'm going to put a seal on this side of the gasket. I've already got the seal. Want to show this, Pete? Yeah. You I've already got the seal in here for the inner inner um, seal. And now I'm going to put another little bead right here and making sure I trace around all the bolt holes. So, uh, oh, guess what, guys? Carlos talks to himself. <laughs> he talks to himself. He's just walking around. He's talking in Spanish. I don't understand what he's saying. I wish I did, but he's having a little. He has conversations with himself. So just a heads up on that. If you, if you hear somebody talking in the background, it's probably Carlos talking to himself. So just a heads up on that. I'm looking forward to seeing that Carlos fan club T-shirt, the Mustang Medic Carlos T-shirt. I'm look, somebody mentioned that they're going to do that, and that there's a new Carlos fan club. So. We'll, uh, we await that very much so. All right, so it's going to become boring video if you don't cut it right now. All right. Oi, oi, oi. Puche, what is it? All right, here we go. Everybody's shuffling, man. Okay. So now we're tightening the oil pan in. We've located, got all the bolts located. Pete got the little bugger one that was fighting us. And now you do a torque sequence and you do the, these two, get them nice and, you know, not crazy snug. And you want to use a one fourth so you don't overdo it. Carlos is folding it back, that's what you're hearing. So you do these two like so. And then you go the flip side. Oh, by the way. Uh, Spielberg, Pete said that he's, he's as good as a Spielberg cameraman, so you know, if, he, if you want to hire a good cameraman, hire Pete. <laughs> now I'm snugging up the other side on the same two bolts. So, as Pete said, inside out. So you start on the inside of the oil pan, and then you work your way out as you snug it up. Get this gasket all nice and perfectly fitted. All right, it's a little fingerprinted, but it's on. Dun, dun, dun. Oil pan all snugged up with the gasket. Good to go. Pika, tell you what you want to say to Zoma. You see this rubber right here on this harmonic balancer, this rubber? You see how it doesn't completely go all the yeah, way around? Yeah. It's actually deteriorating. This is, may not be a problem right now, but this will create a problem yeah. in the future. It needs a new harmonic balance. This is a new harmonic balance. This is this All right. rubber's are... Zoma, um, Pete makes a great point. We should definitely get a new harmonic balancer. You know, we're just, I, you can always say no to me, but when the engine's out, it's the time to do it like we talked about. So uh, we, could, we should probably get a new harmonic balancer. And while we're there, absolutely change out the front main, the front main seal right there. There it is in focus, thank you. And the rear main seal, which means you gotta pull the flywheel off and change the rear main. We should do this because we're out. The engine's out, it's extra work, but change your mains, and this thing will go for like another 100,000 miles. So um, give me a call tomorrow. I'll link this video, I'll email it to you so you can see all this coverage on, on the engine today. And let's talk about it. Let's get a harmonic balance or I'll get prices for you. And let's just change the front and rear mains. That's an absolute. So I'll, give you, I'll send you a new estimate for that work to get that done and getting it done right. So you'll have good gas mileage because you're sticking with the two barrel. 
and she's going to be pretty, and she'll be sealed, front and back. Very importante, correct? Very important. Very important. What do you think, Carlos? Very important. Bro, yeah. Carlos agrees. <laughs> All right, check it out, and uh, this concludes the 66 for tonight. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. Team. Let's go! We're gonna find the next Mustang! Yeah! MustangMedic.com